First and goal from the five. They have quieted this raucous crowd very quickly. The reverse. Brock Bowers turns the corner and scores. Another great call by Todd Munkin and beautifully executed by the dogs. A five-yard touchdown run. Perfect execution. Bowers in motion, gets the flip, gets a block from his quarterback Stetson Bennett and finds his way in the end zone against an AP ranked team. And they shut out Samford last week in a battle. The Bulldogs long throw and a catch. Jaheim Bell who does it all for the Gamecocks. The catch and run to the 28 yard line. A 41 yard pickup. Tight end running back and he's going against a starting corner. But this is a perfectly thrown ball. Juju McDowell the running back now. They fake a draw to him. They're trying to throw a wheel route and it's picked off along the far sideline. The freshman Starks, who had one in the opener against Oregon, he has done it again. And Todd, reminiscent of two weeks ago against Oregon when you said Bo Nix. Bennett pulls it down and takes off. Stetson Bennett inside the five, lunging for the pylon. No signal yet. Now there is. Touchdown, Georgia. The interception really hurt on their last possession. Kendall Milton, the running back, lowers his head, and that's a touchdown. Georgia, two possessions and two touchdowns. It's a fake punt, and it is completed for a first down. Trayvon Canyon is the tight end. Kai Kroger now three for three. First catch of the year for Kenyon. Is their third string tight end. There's that hole for Marshawn Lloyd and another first down. And the pile driven inside the 40 to the 38 yard line. You gotta keep an eye on that big tight end right here. Darnell Washington right here, six foot seven, 250 pound target in the red zone. They go to the other tight end, Brock Bowers. Wow. Touchdown! With fortune there. But Bowers is just too good. Now another perfect throw, kind of back shoulder, and you see the athleticism of Bowers. First of all, secure the catch. No bobble all the way Number to the ground. Number 96 for George is reporting it's 44. Georgia in no hurry. They have plenty of time to go down the field with all three timeouts. Bennett on target, first down. Nice catch by Dominic Blaylock, his second of the year. Play more today without Alex Huntley up front. Okay, Todd Munkin really deep into the bag of tricks. Lad McConkey ducks under a tackle and has a first down at the 25 yard line. Jack Podlesny, excellent kicker from 42 yards, and it is good. B.J. Gibson, number 36, is in there at one of the safety spots, so a depleted defense loses another right now, and right to the work is Stetson Bennett. Brock Bowers after the play fake, showing his great athleticism. He's going to take it all the way for his third touchdown of the game, 78 yards. 44. Gibson is the deep safety right down the middle. Get the ball to Bowers. And Bowers' athleticism does the rest. Ewan Worry not in the game. Roderick, a three year starter, not on the field. Very comfortable. Dejon Edwards breaks free from a poor tackle and finally gets swung down. By the true freshman, Eamon Worry, but it's a first down for George out at the 47-yard line, a gain of 17. He went 11-1 and last season. The only loss was to Alabama in the SEC title game. There's another man running wide open. Kendall Milton tripped up, or that might have been a touchdown. It's Kawan Banks, another freshman, true freshman. MVP performance in the title game, national championship game against the Tide. Now he shows his running skills and weaves into the end zone. 
not sure I'd want the quarterback running with a 31 to nothing lead. But it all works. This is an 11 yard touchdown run. And this was the biggest difference between he and JT Daniels was his ability to make plays with his feet. Just eludes a defender right there at the point of attack. Very quick feet. He's got good speed. The early part of this college football day. You know, Cincinnati, Miami of Ohio. I mean, you would think Cincinnati the upper hand, but that's a heck of a rivalry game. Rattler in double coverage. Somebody has the ball. Georgia has it. Dan Jackson with the interception was intended for Jaheim Bell. You know, you say, why throw that into that coverage? And uh, they have recruited at the top of the heap here for the last four or five years. Play action pass by Beck. Has a man wide open, and it's a touchdown. Oscar Delp, true freshman with his first catch. One of the top high school recruits in the country. Little combination route. He's coming in, he's going out, and this linebacker right here is just going to freeze for a half a second. And that little bit of hesitation is all Delp needed to run by him. It's man coverage. He who hesitates is lost. Annihilated here by Georgia. It might be the most lopsided final score in series history if it stays this way. Carson Beck showing he can run as well. And he gallops out near the 40 yard line. O'Donnell Fortune made the tackle. 21 yard try. And is there anything that doesn't work for the Georgia Bulldogs these days? They better not look past the Kent State Golden Flashes, though, next week. Mm -hmm. Luke Doty is in a quarterback. He dumped it off for Marion Brown and delivered a little stiff arm at the end of the play to Dan Jackson. Doty dumps it out in the flat. Juju McDowell slipped as he went to cut. He's down at the 13 yard line. Both his parents were coaches. His dad was a football coach when he was growing up. Doty fires over the middle and it's intercepted. Tresman Marshall after Ryan Davis put the heat on Luke Doty. Well, they still have not given up a touchdown this season. Pressure right up the middle by Davis, and a great catch by the junior. They've got two games, winnable games, Charlotte, South Carolina State next on their schedule before they get back into SEC play. So they can get healthy and they can get back on the right track winning-wise in the next couple weeks. How about that run after the catch by Jalen Brooks? He's another transfer out of Tarleton State. How they manage it without Substitution infractions. Doty given a clean pocket, has a man open, and it is caught in the corner of the end zone. Trayvon Kenyon with the first touchdown scored against Georgia this season. It comes with 53 seconds left in their third game of the year. Right of your screen. Little combination. Sisabon just got hung up with the little cross route. Veteran leader of this team will be 25 next month. Kirby Smart, Shane Beamer. Shane spent two years in Athens on Kirby's staff. Another very impressive performance just about all the way around. Let's see if we can find some positives, Molly. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.